Father Antonio Perna Vieja An Agustinian who wrote the document, he admits to, to and condemns a variety of crimes and abuses allegedly committed by the friars beginning with the period exceeding the Cavite mutiny. The execution of the three priests is blamed on a friar in tricks according to all accounts. Pedro Alejandro Paterno y de Vera Ignacio wrote Sipnoses de la Historia de Filipinas. He was a politician in the Philippines who was well known for being a traitor. He was also a poet and a novelist and he was Maximo Paterno's son. He deported to the Marianas in 1872 despite the fact that young Pedro was a student in Spain at the time He published this in the 19th century to make the bri a brief mention of the events of the 1872 Cavite mutiny while discussing the revolts of the 19th century. Dr. Trinidad Hermenihildo Pardo de Tabera is a Filipino scholar and researcher who wrote the Filipino version of the Cavite bloodbath. He is a physician and historian. He published notable scholarly works in the fields of Oriental and Philippine studies including language, anthropology, folklore, and so on. According to him, the incident was merely a mutiny by native Filipino soldiers and laborers at the Cavite Arsenal who were dissatisfied with the loss of their privileges. His account was originally written for the official report of the 1903 census as part of a general survey of Philippine history. Cavite Mutiny, January 20, 1872 Brief uprising of 200 Filipino troops and workers at the Cavite Arsenal which became the excuse for Spanish suppression of embryonic Philippine nationalist movement. Ironically, the harsh reaction of the Spanish authorities served ultimately to promote nationalist cause. The immunity was quickly crushed, but the Spanish regime under the reactionary governor Rafael de Escuerdo magnified the incident and used it as an excuse to clamp down on those Filipinos who had been calling for governmental reform. A number of Filipino intellectuals After a brief trial, three priests, Jose Burgos, Jacinto Zamora, and Marciano Gomez, were publicly executed. The three subsequently became martyrs to the cause of Philippine independence. When, where, and why? The two documents of Father Agapito Echigoyen and Father Antonio Pernavieja were written on that very year where they were taken prisoners by the revolutionary forces of Cavite, which is on 1896, which contains the confession of various crimes, abuses of allegedly prayers. Both documents state the article posted in Manila, Philippines, that is 33.6 kilometers via R1 from Cavite or that is almost 1 hour and 9 minutes from the place of publication in T.M. Calo Street, Ermita, Manila. The information is taken from the two priests that were arrested and tortured by the revolutionary forces in Cavite in 1896. The Magdiwang leader, Mariano Alvarez and Andres Bonifacio themselves were the one that witnessed the document statement of the two priests that were arrested for informing the Spanish regime of the plans of Gumborza. According to Pernabia, a certain Fray Claudio del Arceo, disguised as Father Burgos, went to Abite to spread the idea of an uprising when the mutiny was put down. The friars put pressure on the Governor General through his secretary and a lady with a lot of clout as well as a gift of 40,000 pesos. 